ingredients excite me. Understanding how to bring out flavor and like the things that complement and contrast to make those ingredients that much more delicious. We're doing a salt baked ribeye today. It's basically inspired by beggar's chicken. Beggar's chicken is a traditional Chinese dish. There's some folklore. A beggar stole a chicken, hid it by burying it underground, found when he came back, it was like a juicy, juicy chicken. So I'm not sure how much of that is, is truth. When I was thinking about how to season this meat, I wanted to add seaweed to give a little bit of that surf and turf too, because I think that to me is like always going to be layering umami when you kind of mix just land and sea elements. And that's a very like Chinese philosophy, I think, to really build flavor um, that is exciting on your palate. The juices will have nowhere to go except just to like continue to like almost baste itself in, in this way. So we're gonna add a couple more things to it. There's a little bit of herbs in here too. We're basically building a crust of salt, egg white, and like a tizan. It's like a little igloo. Beggar's chicken was originally done with clay, but essentially it's doing the same thing. It's the salt will insulate it and slow down the heat and just like keep everything inside of it really moist. This scallion ash might be the easiest recipe to do. You just leave it in the oven until it literally turns black. Even though we haven't caramelized the meat, this over caramelization of onion is gonna be kind of that accent that kind of gives you that almost like it was charred on the grill kind of like flavor. I love using color to disguise flavor. If you expect the char from the scallion, you still might not expect that actual like crunch of salt. And then the black sesame also kind of like provides another thing that like is just hidden in that color. And then the acidity from the fermented tea leaves is just another layer of surprise. You kind of like need some of that acidity to balance the richness of a ribeye, but like finding it out of a ferment was supposed to be another surprise in the dish. The goal of like what we try to do at Mr. Jews is really take these ingredients that we take a lot of time curating and knowing the farmers themselves too, it brings another layer of really understanding the ingredient. They're the ones who actually know most about the ingredient. And so learning about it and understanding how to build a story around it, for us, like adding that layer of, of Chinese um, tradition and technique is gonna show the quality. The residual heat in this will hopefully get it to where it's very happy. Hey. Man, you really actually smell the lemongrass, it's crazy. I tried to really think of traditional dishes that people have context to. But when they see it or taste what we have kind of used as inspiration, that's supposed to be some of the excitement at the table too. Oh yeah, I've, I've had beggar's chicken before. I, I might know what that tastes like, but then having it with beef in this instance, using that technique, that's kind of what, what we hope is also exciting at the table for people is to see these dishes that they, they have context to and to see them in a different way and hopefully to be excited about what they're tasting. Thank you.